Hello everybody, your random gnome here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server very easily and very quickly. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos recently that are like 12 minutes. Uh, we're not going to go that long, and hopefully it's going to be easier than a video that takes that long. So the first thing you need is Minecraft, the game itself, which you probably already have. If not, go ahead to the Minecraft website and download the latest version. After that, you're going to want to get the Minecraft server software, which is very easy. I'll provide a link in the description. And you're going to go ahead and download that. And while that's downloading, let's get the hardest part of creating a server out of the way. And that is setting up the ports, uh, port forwarding on your router. So to start doing that, we're going to go to the start menu, type in a run. And inside a run, type CMD, which is your command prompt. And once you're inside of the command prompt, uh, type ipconfig. And under ipconfig, you're going to see something called default gateway. Default gateway is going to be the key to editing your router so we can set up um, ports. Uh, and you're going to just go ahead and type your default gateway right into your browser. And here's mine. Uh, yours may be a little bit different. This is the AT&T router page. Uh, so you know when you get to this page it might ask you login information that you hopefully have access to or uh, on the other hand there might be a key on the side of your router that you have to type in so once you're in your router you know you get past all the login screens you're gonna wanna find firewall and under firewall you're going to either see something dealing with gaming or port forwarding so you're gonna wanna go to that page and as you can see I already have it set up so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it the AT&T page is most likely going to be different from yours. Uh, my old router did not have this. As you can see, there's a bunch of presets, which is pretty sweet. Minecraft's not on there, though. I had to create a custom. So you're going to want to go ahead and add. And yours won't be this easy, I assume. You're going you're gonna to see something more to the, to the likes of this. This is what I had to go to to add the Minecraft server, a custom service, because it wasn't a default uh, service. So this is probably what you're going to see on the port forwarding page. For the service name, obviously name it something uh, that you're going to recognize because it really doesn't matter. It has no uh, functional purpose. It's just a label for yourself. And yeah, just name it Minecraft or whatever. And the global port range is going to be 25565 to 25565. And the base host port will also be 25565. And you're going to go ahead and add that. Like I said, I already had that uh, custom service added. So once once you have it there, uh, you're going to want to make sure that it's under the device that you're currently operating from. Mine is Boss Master because that's what I named my PC. And so yeah, once you have all the ports open and you set it to the right device, go ahead and add it. Very simple process here, kind of slow. But there it is, Minecraft. Added. Alright, now we can go back to the Minecraft server software on the desktop, or wherever you guys prefer to keep it. Anyways, just make a, a Minecraft server folder to hold all the server software, uh, you know, files, whatever. And you're going to go ahead and open that folder and run the Minecraft server, and the first time it's probably not going to act the best for you just like it did there. It just opened and shut. You're going to be confused. What you're going to want to do is open the EULA and for some reason it's set to false. Um, it's just They just want you to accept it and agree to their terms. So go ahead and type true and save it. The second time you run it it's going to start creating files and start generating the spawn area. As you can see it's already doing that right now. And while it's generating the spawn area, I'm going to tell you about the two ways that you can join the server. Um, as we, as you saw before, we opened up the IP config. If you open that back up, you'll see something called the IPv4 address, which is your local address. And if you use that, you can directly connect. And only people on your network can connect to that. I'm sure opening a Minecraft server, you want people on other networks uh, across the world to join your server. So what you're going to need from that is, or to do that, what, what you're going to need to give to your friends is your public IP. And how you get that is you go to Google, 
and just type in what's my IP. Your public IP will show. Obviously, I'm not going to show you what mine is, but once you get that IP, you're going to copy and paste it to your friend, or you can direct connect with your own IP to make sure it works, which I'm going to do right now. And as you can see, uh, it's taking a second, but I'm in Minecraft. And my public IP worked, so that means the server is running. And you can go ahead and start sending the link to your friends and have fun. And that's it for today. I'm uh, glad you guys stayed around for this tutorial, and I hope everything worked out. If you have questions, please go ahead and comment. Uh, and yeah, that's it for today. You guys have a great day. Adios.